Sorry, Kath, I'm going to have to cancel that lunch plans. Oh, why? What's happened? I had Carol Jackson over this morning. Seems that Robbie's not well enough to start back at the porter cabin. Oh. How is he? Well, love? Robbie. What did Carol say? Oh, nothing much, really. Just that he's got to rest for a while longer. I think I'll do this upstairs. Sarah. Sorry, Kath. Sunshine, the sunshine, away. What? Yeah, Which bit are you going? What do you mean on a Monday morning, dressed in school uniform? Uh, Aren't you forgetting something? <sighs> Robbie, I'm late already. You owe me two weeks' cut from your busking. I don't know what you're talking about. Sonia, I may have had a bump in my head, but I haven't lost my memory. I haven't been busking. Liar, cough up. I haven't. You can search me. I ain't got a penny. I gave it all up. What are you still doing here? I'm looking after your plastic brother. Get off to school. Pleasure. I haven't forgotten, Sonia. I thought you were going to stay in bed. Nah, there's no TV up there, man. Shouldn't you be at work? Hey, Mrs Andreas is in doing a stop take, so I've nicked out to check on you. How are you feeling? Not bad. Was Barry all right about me having time off? Yeah, he was fine about it. I mean, you can't work if you're not fit enough, can you? Do you want me to go around the pizza place and tell them? That's a okay, I'll ring them later. No, it's no trouble, love. Mum, I can do it. I'm not a baby. I'm 18 years old. All right, if, if you don't need me. Oh, Mum. Make us a quick cup of tea while you're out there, could you? What can I do for you, Dad? I thought I'd drop in and wish you luck. You nervous? Nah. Here, give me that. Don't you know how to tie a proper knot yet? Thanks. Seen your sister at all? Not much. Look, why don't you go around on me calves, Dad? Because she won't want to see me. You don't know that. It's more likely to uh, talk to you, though. I'll try, OK? I'm in court this week. You'll be all right, though. They're not going to sentence you yet, are they? Not at this hearing, but uh, could wind up in jail. It won't come to that. Just ask her if she'll talk to me, please. I said I'd try. Right. There you go. So, basically, you pick it up as you go along. Any problems, just ask. You can use Claire's desk. She's off on maternity. Thanks. Hello? If the phone rings, answer it. Nine times out of ten, if somebody wants to sell their fridge or their dead hamster's old cage. Fill out a form, pass it to Mary over there. So, you finally made it in, then. Give me a break, Max. It's Monday. Oh, so this is our new boy, then? Polly, Tony, Tony, Polly. Polly became a journalist, so she'd have an excuse to arrive late every day with a hangover. Absolutely right. Right, then. 10.30, coffee time. Tony. Oh, yeah, love one, please. That's me, in it? Kitchen's over there. Oh, hold on. I almost forgot. Guard these with your life. What are they for? They open the cupboard where we keep the biscuits. Uh, excuse me. You all right? Oh, hello. Get this thing working. Paper jam. Perhaps all the time there's a knack to it. I should do it. Ah, oh, great. So you getting on then? Feeling like a bit of a new boy. Yeah, a friendly bunch, aren't they? What'd you do for lunch, Randy? I've got to work. I've got to interview the local under 15 football team. How'd I get on? Nil nil draw. Should be a very interesting article. See ya. All right. What do you want? Ah, oh, just the tea. Uh, your sister's over there. Oh, right. Well, your dad said you'd try and talk to her. Yeah, yeah, I will. All right. You look smart. How's the job? Fine, yeah. Dad's come over to see me this morning. Yeah? You know he's got the earring this week. So? I was going to go, but it looks like I'll be working. Sarah, he's really worried about it. I mean, if you saw him... Come on, wait. I don't want to hear it, OK? Is she all right? What's it look like? They uh, didn't take you out for lunch, then? I thought they always did that on the first day. Well, it's a busy place. People just grab lunch when they can. So, what do you have to do? Oh, you know, read through some of the articles, talk to people on the phone. Sounds good. Yeah. Got a nice desk, computer, it's all right.
So, where's everyone else? Oh. How are you? Well, I was going to come over earlier, but... Why? I wanted to see how you were. Can you turn that down, please? I'm watching it. Robbie, please. OK. So what do you want to say? Well, I don't know. I, I just wanted to see how you were. How do I look? When are you going back to work? Don't know. Don't even know how they love me back. I'm sorry. What for? Well, for everything. For sleeping with me? No. For making me feel like a rapist? Robbie! For almost having me killed? No, no. You really hate me, don't you? Who am I supposed to blame? Your dad? He was just protecting you, that's all. Look, I didn't want any of this to happen. You didn't want to sleep with me? That, that, that's not what I meant. Did you? Yes or no? Look, I thought I did, but look, I was confused. I thought I wanted to. I guess I thought that it was something that I should do. Didn't matter who with, though, did it? No, that is not true. Look, what do you want me to do? Just tell me and I'll do it. I can't go on like this. Robbie, I can't change what happened if I could. So it's down to me, is it? What am I supposed to do? Forgive you? Forgive your dad? What does the Bible say about that? No, I don't expect you to forgive me. So what are you doing here, then? Oh, hi, Kelly. You want me to say, no, it's OK, Sarah, don't worry about it. Have you any idea how you made me feel? I don't mean your dad. I mean you. Why are you crying? What did you expect me to say? I don't know. You're the last person in the world that I wanted to hurt. You know, if I could change everything... You can't. What do we do now? Carry on. But I don't want you hating me. I don't hate you. I care about you. If I didn't, none of this would have happened. Sorry. So, uh, what are they like? Who? Oh. The people that you work with. They nice. All right, I guess. You didn't get all the usual jokes played on you then. You know, nip down to the hardware shop and get me a left-handed hammer or some tartan paint, all that sort of stuff. Simon, the professional people, it's not like working on a market store, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Don't they have fun in offices then? Well, of course they do, it's just... Well, it's a different sort of fun. Right. A more clever sort of fun. I didn't mean it like that. I'll see you later then, Pat. Bye. Hey, Pat. Well, there's a talent. Sorry? Reading and watching TV at the same time. Oh, right. I wasn't doing either, to be honest. Your dad came in the cafe today. Sarah, I said I saw your dad earlier. He's worried about the hearing. And he's worried about you. Look, I've had this from Tony and I don't need to hear it again. Will you just talk to him, please? I can't. 